It wasn't long ago that we reported on the show that considering how badly things have been going in the country, but especially for Donald Trump's re-election efforts, his aides had come up with a sort of unique and very childish way of bucking up his spirits, and that was that they tried to cheer him up during the pandemic by bringing big trucks to the White House. And <laughs> some people might have seen that news and thought, well, come on, okay. Yes, I will grant you, they did bring a bunch of big trucks to the White House, but it's, you know, they, they just care about truckers. It's not just like, because tr Trump, like a four-year-old, loves trucks. Well, then how do you explain this? A couple days ago, they wanted to focus on how much deregulation the White House had done. And so, rather than just having a press conference, they decided to do this. They took weights off of a red truck with Trump standing right by it on a podium as a big crane took big weights off of a big truck. And you can see here him standing between the two big trucks loaded down with weights. He does love a good truck. Here's the other side, by the way. Yeah, they brought a bunch of people to watch this Trump crane take weights off of a truck so that Trump could stand by the truck. Are we selling these? Like, is this another commercial? Are they? Are those weights full of Goya beans? <laughs> no, apparently they weren't even very heavy. It was it was just symbolic, but not necessarily in the way they intended that these weights that were being lifted off the truck. A truck, by the way, intended to carry heavy weights, so I don't understand the symbolism there. Uh, no, they were just super lightweights. They were imaginary. So the, D, the regulations they were lifting were not actually that heavy on the truck in the first place. God, what? what? It does, though. I mean, it's very Looney Tunes, because you just want a crane to go like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> drop you know and like if oh, this entire administration went out with an anvil it would be very on brand mm -hmm. he is wily e. coyote um <laughs> and everything he does backfires on himself so it does make you think looney tunes i wish that were the case but also i will just say quick little plug if you haven't seen an episode of the president show which was on comedy central and the best trump impersonator yeah. ever Anthony Atamanik, his very first episode, he gives you a tour of New York City and then he gives you a tour of the White House. Uh, watch it. Watch that because it ends with a great truck line um, yeah. that oh, I, I love. That. And I think you should pull you should pull it up for tomorrow or a future show, John. It's okay. excellent. Awesome, awesome. But yes, he, lo he loves the big trucks. Beep, beep, honk, honk. <laughs> Yeah, and, and by the way, how much money did this cost? Setting this up, bringing the crane in. Who made those weights? These, like, it's not like Trump paid for this, by the way. We paid for this. What does it this. say on the crane? Trump administration. Because Stop. it's like a political cartoon. Uh. Every bit of the analogy has to be spelled out like a Ben Garrison ca ca <laughs> cartoon. Because they have no faith in their base to be able to, like, oh, I get what you're doing. They have to do every... But we, we paid for that. Francesca, you paid for that. I paid for that. So he could bring in trucks and stand by the big tires and the weights get lifted off because of the, the deregulation or the regulations that are crushing a red truck. Why do we pay taxes? That's the other thing. Honestly, why do we pay taxes? The right is always like, oh, your taxes. Yeah, the left, meanwhile, is paying for things that we absolutely don't believe in, like military bases around the country terrorizing, around the world terrorizing yeah. it, uh, trucks with... <laughs> Empty weights on them. Mostly we should trucks. be the ones talking about taxes. Exactly. God, such nonsense. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.